My name is Ethna Dempsey, so I work in the chemistry department at ITT Dublin in Tala, and uh, I'm principal investigator in the CREATE Research Centre. At the moment we've got 12 researchers, so they would include postdocs, postgrads, and we have some visiting researchers under the Marie Curie programme. So I suppose our research activity spans area of sensor technology, electrochemical sensors. So we take uh, different types of materials, including nanomaterials, and we combine those with biomolecules uh, on conducting surfaces. And we develop new types of analytical devices for biomedical diagnostics. I was involved in two um, incoming international fellowships, one in FP6 and um, one that has just finished in, F in FP7. And uh, I'm currently coordinating an IRSIS, Marie Curie IRSIS, International Research Staff Exchange Programme. And that's in its second year at the moment. The uh, FP7 incoming international fellowship involved uh, having a postdoc um, in our group for two years and the project involved development of uh, nanowires which were used as nanomotors for drug delivery applications. Um, so that was a very successful project and it was a new area for our group. So we uh, learned a lot. The skills that the researcher brought in were very valuable and we'd definitely like to continue uh, work in that area in the future. The IRSIS project I'm working on at the moment involves um, partners from outside the EU, which would include the Ukraine, South Africa, Egypt and Tunisia. Um, and the European countries are ourselves, Ireland, and we're coordinating, coordinating the project, um, Portugal, France, Sweden and Romania. And the mobilities are between those countries. So we build, off, build on the expertise that um, those institutions bring. Marie Curie actions are very prestigious awards and they're well well known so I would have known about them even during my own PhD um, so I was well aware of the program and uh, was interested in applying um, and got the opportunity over the last couple of years. I suppose I applied to get access to European funding um, and also really I suppose the mobilities allow us to bring in expertise that doesn't exist in, th in within the group. Um, so really the benefit is having these experienced researchers from abroad um, who can work on these high quality projects and produce good outputs um, in terms of publications and so forth. The consortium came about as a result, I suppose, of networking at conferences and I met with the Ukrainian and, and South African partner and we were discussing opportunities for funding. Um, they had uh, a network of um, collaborators in various institutions, so this resulted in a 10-country consortium being established. The IRSIS project is in its second year and the mobilities are ongoing and we've had a good start to the project. As part of the current IRSES Smart Cancer Sense uh, project, we have a, a PhD student over from Cape Town in South Africa. He's been working with us for the last couple of months, uh, developing a geno sensor for uh, breast cancer as a diagnostic tool. The benefits of being involved in the Marie Curie actions, I suppose, would include access to expertise at these international laboratories and their facilities and resources. And I think there's great experience to be gained from um, traveling to these institutions and spending time abroad. So the researchers themselves benefit, the group benefits, and we've got access to further funding that we can leverage uh, from these initial projects. The best thing about working on the Marie Curie Action projects is being able to meet with and work with international researchers, uh, PhD students and fellows, and these individuals would have contributed hugely to our team over the years. So it's definitely something I'd like to continue with into the future. I'd recommend the Marie Curie Actions and they're a very good entry point into Horizon 2020 projects. Uh, they allow you to get access to collaborators abroad and 
also build on the expertise that the mobility brings into the team.